Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me for today's video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to put the die set together to make this really cool and fun um, mechanism for a waterfall. So this is the waterfall mechanism die set. It's part of the Moving Pages uh, collection that I've just released. You get six dies and this makes it so easy. So let's have a quick look again, just to have fun. I love that. This one will be coming up in another tutorial. This is a prototype, so I need to print these photographs out onto stronger cardstock, so that works fine. Okay, so here is the die set. Here is the main die. I'll keep that on the side there. We even have the pull there on the side, so you need to die cut one of those. And here we have a choice here of two mats. So the main mat here is the larger one, so die cut five of those ones and then we have the stitched detailed mat here for your patterned papers or you can use that to cut your photograph out directly it will look better with the photograph on the underside here so here we have another one use the the stitched one the inside the, the smaller one that's nesting inside there and you can add your photographs inside now we do have this one as an extra or a spare it is the same length as the big one it's exactly the same length it's just that little bit shorter so if you wanted to go for a shorter pocket on there you can do and again you've got the matching mat for that as well now this last piece here cut two of those and this will be the bit that goes around the back here it's sort of hidden it will go around the back there and I'll be showing you today <clears throat> exactly how that goes together okay so I've got all of my bits and bobs already die cut out there we go I'll be going through those in a moment I've got mostly everything prepared I'm prepared today and <clears throat> I'm going to be putting this in the landscape version of the large album die set so I've got my little squash book in there Oh, I forgot to say in the other tutorial, the squash book fits in there perfectly in the belly band as well. Let's pop that away there. I get so excited about these things. Okay, so we're going to pop this here. So we do a little dry run. I'm showing you where it's going to go in my album. And then we pull and then it's going to open up sideways. Now in the same large album in the portrait orientation, I've got it that way. And again, it doesn't have to be for your memory albums you can pop this on the front of a gift card um greetings card things like that so it's very very versatile okay so here we have our long piece here okay so it's got all of these score lines so i'm just going to fold those down line everything up as you fold so that it's meeting top and bottom use a bone folder as well just to press everything down just uh, make sure they go both ways okay now that goes forward just like that so now we're going to grab our two side pieces it's a lot easier to do it this way instead of trying to glue these on when it's up like that you'll get confused I will get I get confused so these do have little score lines in them so fold those over you only need two of these and this is what's going to it's going to attach this to the back the it's going to attach this to your page but it's also going to allow this to move up and down freely okay so add your glue just to this side here pop it on like that have it coming out ever so slightly so that you can see the score line and a little bit of card the sun's gone in so it's got a bit dark and then that is what's going to go around the back here then you add glue here 
just to that when you attach it to the page and that leaves this section here and this section here to move about freely so let's pop that on and it's a lot easier to do it when this front part here is folded we have the word pull so you know that it's the right way round so first we're going to add glue just to that square there we're just going to pop that on the back there so as you can see a little bit of that is coming out that is going to give this room now to move up and down do the same on the other side okay so these are going to go there do not glue these to the back of this it, otherwise it will not work okay so now I've die cut these larger ones you only need to do five one two three four and I have my fifth one here and I've done my mat there you can use the same mat from this one to cut out your photograph if you want a whole stack of photographs okay so let's get this glued on and again I have put this together using tape the red line tape and after a while it did start to come away I don't know maybe I need to change brands of my red line tape but I always have better results with glue with things lasting okay so decision time now I'm using pattern paper so you need to kind of work out how this is going to look like that and I'm going to be popping this always think about the album page that you're putting this on as well when making your decisions it's going to go on this page here so do I want here is the question do I want this one here matching that one because it kind of disappears and blends in a little bit so I think I might pop this one it's quite a complimentary one and it's not too busy and then I'm going to swap this one because this is busy too I kind of want that one to hit a neutral which is which would be these stripes it's just it just breaks up the pattern and it makes it easier on the eye so I've gone for I'm classing this as a neutral pattern as well neutral busy this is a semi-neutral busy pattern there so I can get away with that because of the contrast and the colours that was a busy one and that's more of a neutral one so I'm going to see how that looks against my pattern paper and I think that looks excellent so I'm going to pop them on in that order okay so I'm going to start at the bottom I'm going to add my glue here again if you really must or want to use red tape you can do uh, it would have definitely be red the tape the red tape version so pop that one on the bottom row just like that and then work your way up just like so so always add the glue to the mechanism and not the actual uh, card again you want to go straight up to the score line but don't cover it and now I'm adding my layers make sure that they're straight and lined up with either side I put my first one on a bit wonky so I'm going to try and fix that oh no it wasn't wonky it, it was not folded up here okay right next one okay so the longest amount of time to make this is just your die cutting and your decision making on your pattern paper um, so there's no complicated um, score lines to put in it's all done for you so easy okay last one
Okay, I need to give that a little bit of time to dry, which should be the amount of time for me to get this settled into the album here. So again, this is going to be a sideways one. It's going to be just like that. So these tuck under and it's going to look just like that. Okay, so the only place we're going to add glue are these sections here. Um, let me just, uh, where's my pencil? I can't find it. Here it is, it's rolled away. Just add glue to that square and that square there. Just those two. That is the only place where you need it. Otherwise, the mechanism won't work. Okay, so make sure you have everything straightened up. And then press down. There we go. I'm just going to give that a minute or two to dry. And then we're going to test it. Okay, so that's had a little bit of time to dry now. So let's just test this out. And there we have a nice sideways mechanical waterfall. And that matches perfectly with that one in vertical as well so you can choose the orientation of that depending on whether you're making a greetings card or you're adding it to a mini album so that is the um here it is the waterfall mechanism die set it's super pretty it's super easy to use i just love these ornate um curves here because it's going to match all the all of the edition mini album die sets and other die sets in my collection too so um if you like this one give me a thumbs up i've got plenty more videos using the moving pages collection so make sure you're subscribed click the icon down there in the corner and um, i'll see you again next time